350 million worldwide have diabetes. 30 million Americans have diabetes. 10% of these people will develop diabetic foot ulcers. Many of these people will have to undergo leg amputation due to infection and non-healing of these wounds. The reason is simple. We do not have effective treatment. My laboratory for the past 10 years has been identifying new therapeutic target to treat diabetic ulcers. We have got one now. The natural occurring molecule is called heat shock protein 90 alpha. We are developing topical applied cream on these wounds to promote wound closure. After 15 years of training and independent research in cell biology, biochemistry and molecular biology, I felt that I was ready to take on a disease project to directly benefit the patients. Once we have discovered this promising drug target, it's important to test this drug candidate in a brand new animal model, that is to use the pigs instead of mice. SCCTSI's funding play a crucial role in this transition from rodent model to pig model, which is the closest to human. If you're planning on doing innovative work, if you want to discover, it's often hard at the beginning to convince many others to believe in you, to provide financial support. SCCTSI understand the meaning of a discovery and it takes a risk for you. This new discovery has entered drug developmental phase. This is the reason USC has filed a consecutive three patents on this discovery. At this moment, this protein is manufactured up to 99% purity required for clinical trials. The current cost to take care of diabetic foot ulcers in America is $10 billion a year. This new discovery can significantly reduce those expenditures, not to mention improvement of patient lives. I think the purpose of any research is to ultimately benefit the patient society. What is often missing is the connection between basic research discovery and the translational research. SCCTSI's support provides a connection between bench discovery and the interpretation of this discovery to drugs, that's called the transcendental research.